I studied BSc in Motorsport Engineering with the National Motorsport Academy. I recently had completed a master's degree in mechanical engineering and knew that I wanted to go down a more motorsport orientated route. Um, through that, the NMA popped up literally by Google search. It was very, very lucky that I came across it, um, but I was able to self-fund it myself. I was able to work part-time in a bar, so I was able to still be doing a nine-to-five job as well as studying in the evenings. So within the first week, basically, of studying online, I'd already been contacted by two of the lecturers who had personally said, hi, uh, welcome to the course. This is going to be your new content. This is going to be your tutor. Then I'd been allowed to go through the, the starter pack as well as the first module and look at what it is. And you instantly become reassured that this is a solid course. It was extremely thorough as well as very up to date, which is extremely important in, in, uh, in motorsport. Uh, with the, the climate of motorsport forever changing from year to year, you need to be always up to date on it. You can't have a course that is already three years out of date before you get into it. So that was really important that you could be learning about aerodynamics, which has been the principles of that have lasted for 10, 20 years, or you could be learning about hybrid and electronics and motorsport that are cutting edge and right up to date. I was lucky enough to join the NMA team on multiple occasions and you instantly get a bit of a feel for how the weekends work and you can progress not just from cleaning wheels and stringing the car, but then you get a bit of hands on with the data and you can talk with the driver and work out how they want to change the setup. They want to see how the driver can improve. So yeah, as, as you spend more time with the team, you progress further as well. So my final year project was on a full aerodynamic design for a GT3 race car similar to the Mosler behind me here. It was um, based on my first initial assignment was aerodynamics within the, the NMA. So I was able to use that side of things, the CFD, the uh, solid works as well to create the car itself. And then to move on to further things like using um, chassis sim, which was able to help understand whether the, the car had actually improved through my, my understanding of it and through my creation of the aerodynamic parts for it. As a race engineer, I now use some of this knowledge through aerodynamics to change front wing angle, rear wing angle, depending on high speed balance, low speed balance, what the car is wanting, what the driver is wanting. And that comes back to having a strong understanding through my final year project. Uh, the team I'm currently with, I feel very settled with. I feel like the team's helping me grow. There's a lot of expansion within it because not only is there Formula Renault, there's GP3, Formula 2, there's possibility to grow within the team itself as well as having lots of top level engineers that have been in it for decades. So they can always help uh, improve myself as well as just learning from them. Yeah, so I feel that I'm very lucky in the position I'm in with Arden right now. Literally as of tomorrow morning, I fly to Austria to Red Bull Ring for another uh, race event. So yeah, it's nonstop. There's a lot of travel. If you're up for it, then it's fantastic. But I just feel that they're able to keep on progressing my career very well. Just like the NMA was able to hone in on certain skills, you still learn from the professional engineers that have got a lot more experience than you in the team. So now that I'm a professional race engineer and I work with drivers every single day, I worked with over 25 last year, I realized that their minds are all different. So I started studying sports psychology as well. And it was only through having done the NMA that I was feeling competent enough to trust another online course. So yeah, as, as natural progression for me, I still want to stay trackside. While I'm young at the moment, I still want to be going to the race weekends and traveling the world. And I'm loving that to pieces. There might be a day when I want to do a more of a design job and I feel like the background of my final year project has helped cement that there is a place for me as a design engineer as well at some point. But for right now, trackside engineering is where I'm happy. I fully recommend the NMA motorsport degree course to anyone. I've already recommended it to a number of friends, some of which were in university with me previously. So they've already studied and want to focus more on motorsport or to some friends that are just coming out of high school or a technical college that are passionate about motorsport. I want to make a career out of it.